What's up guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Salty Sleggy, thanks for tuning in today. Today's video is a quick in-depth look at everything we know so far when it comes to Warhammer Dark Tide, which launches on September 13th of this year. It'll be available on Xbox X and S, your PC on Steam, and available on Game Pass. But before we get into this Warhammer Dark Tide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if these are the videos that you're into. Be sure to have that bell icon turned on so you don't miss any of the games coming to my channel. Now let's talk about everything you can expect at launch. Unlike its predecessor of Vermintide, in Dark Tide, you'll be able to create your own character under their classes. Choosing between an Ogryn, Veteran, Psyker, and Zealot. Choosing male or female, apart from the Ogryn, which is always male. Picking different faces, as well as heights, hairdos, skin colors, Loads of options so you can distinctly create your own class. After completing the prologue, you'll find yourself aboard the spaceship orbiting Adama Prime, known as the Morning Star. The Morning Star will act as your base of operations where you'll pick up quests and chat with NPCs, selling and crafting gear, and seeing other players. As the Morning Star is a social hub on a dedicated server, you'll be able to communicate with them outside of your party, check out their gear, and even team up with them. The Morning Star also includes crafting vendors, contract vendors, weaponsmiths, a credit store, a barber shop, as well as an in-game mail system for developers. For those rare occasions where you disconnect and then the developer can mail you your lost gear. You will not be able to send your buddy some loot. After getting comfortable on the Morning Star, next is the mission board. And just like its predecessor, still acts as a matchmaking system. Missions will come with a variety of difficulties, as well as side missions, different parameters regarding the mission, scaling the difficulty to 10. When it comes to the enemy types, it'll be sticking to the Vermintide formula. Developers have stated that you can expect the same type of enemies from Vermintide, but in a 40k setting. From hordes of enemies to the swarmer type, beefy, bulky elites, the ones that trap players, or even hunt them down, as well as a variety of mini bosses, just like the Plague Ogryn can randomly spawn in any given map. Some missions themselves will actually include their own boss battles in order to complete your mission. When it comes to the split between ranged and melee, the developers have stated that it'll be a 50-50 split and the enemies will encourage weapon swapping. Next is loot. After completing a mission, you will be rewarded with some random piece of gear based on your performance. You'll also receive gear every time you level up and the game will also include in-game shops as well as a crafting system so you can change up the stats and traits of your gear to better your build even being able to move traits from one weapon to another the game also includes a system called contracts where you'll be able to select and target rare and unique weapons these are more like long-term goals you'll have a set of parameters to complete and upon completing you'll be able to purchase your new weapon when it comes to weapon types rarities are still a thing common uncommon rare all the way up to relics, relics being the cream of the crop with more trait options, more trait slots, and unlike Vermintide, it will create more randomization within the weapon types. The game also includes a talent tree for every single class. Just like Vermintide, you level up, you get a point, and spend that point in a talent that you like. Developers have stated that the max level-ish is around 30, though this could change. Once maxed out, you'll be searching for that better gear as well as cosmetics. And there'll be a lot of cosmetics to get your hands on through the achievement system. If you do cool veteran stuff, you will unlock cool veteran gear. Premium store also makes a return. Firstly, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I hope you enjoyed this quick, in-depth, deep dive into the world of Dark Tide. Be sure to smash a like for the algorithm because it helps out me on the channel and I wouldn't ask you otherwise. Subscribe for more upcoming games. You'll find other games on my channel if you want to check those out. You'll find social links down below if you want to support me in that space. Hit that notification bell. And as always, have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.